Hello, friends. It is math time in Tennessee. It's not really football time yet, so, but I'm dressed in my Tennessee football gear today for Spirit Week. I know team day was yesterday, but you're getting us today. So today, lesson 16. I can count on to find the unknown parts of an addition sentence. How many more to make six, seven, eight, and nine and 10? Hmm, unknown numbers. Mystery numbers? Mystery numbers. We know how to solve mystery numbers. We have been solving mystery numbers. We need our detective hats. We can solve these numbers. And we can count on to make six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We know how to do those things. But first, before we can do our lesson today, we need to warm up our brains. So we need to do a little fluency. You do not have fluency in Google Classroom today. You are gonna have fluency with me today. So let me get my pen. See if it works. We're not doing that one. We're gonna do that one. All right, this one is counting on drums. You have drumsticks, they're called your hands. You have drums, they're called your legs. We're gonna use our hands and our legs make drum sounds. Okay, but here's how this is gonna work. I'm gonna say a number, you're gonna put it in your head, and then we're gonna count on three times by drumming our legs. So if I say three, three, four, five, six, we're counting on three more, but you're drumming it as you do it. Okay, here we go. Five, five, six, seven, eight, four, four, five, six, seven, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, one, two, three, four. Okay, let's do two, two, three, four, five. Let's do nine. Nine, 10, 11, 12. One more, let's do six. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, good job guys. All right, now you need your whiteboard and a piece of paper or a piece of paper and a pencil and something to write with so we can do our application problem. Don't put the detective hat away yet because we still have to solve the application problem. And remember, we have to find the information we need. So make sure you have your board ready. If you need to pause to go get it, do that. I'm gonna get my board ready. And let's look. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit so it's easier to see. All right, I'm gonna move out of our way. And I'm gonna read our application problem. Remember, we need to listen for important information and to discover what it wants us to do in our problem. So let's read it first, then we'll go back and find out what it wants us to do and what that important information is. So let's look. There were 10 bowling pins standing. Finn knocked over some bowling pins and seven were still standing. How many did, the, did he knock over? Use a simple math drawing to show what you did to solve. Use a, write a number sentence with a box to show the mystery or unknown number. Okay, so let's look at that. What did it ask us to do? It asked us to use a simple math drawing to show what we did and to write a number sentence with a box to show the mystery. So first thing I'm gonna do is make a blank template And we're gonna put a box around one of them to show our mystery number, okay? So let's go back, cause I'm gonna need to make a drawing to help me solve this. So let's find our important information. There were 10 bowling pins standing. How many bowling pins were standing? 10, let's go with 10, 10 pins. I'm gonna draw 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Finn knocked over some bowling pins. Hmm, does any of that information help us? Yeah, 
We know that there's pins that got knocked over. We don't know how many yet, but we know there's some. Seven were still standing. So we know that seven of my pins are still standing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color in seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's my 10 bowling pins and the seven that are still standing. So is the seven a part or a whole? The part. We know that seven bowling pins got knocked over, or I'm sorry, seven were still standing and some got knocked over. How many were there total? Ten. Ten of them all together. So seven were standing, some got knocked over, and there's ten total. Now, how many did we not color in? Three. I have three that were not colored in, so three might be my misnomer. Let's check, let's count on and check. So seven, eight, nine, 10. That's correct. So my mystery number is three. So let's read that as a whole number sentence. We had seven bowling pins standing, three got knocked over, there are 10 bowling pins in all. Okay, good job guys. Now if you solve this a different way, you could have said seven. There's my seven. Some more equals 10. You could have drawn out 10 there. Or you could have said seven plus our mystery number. So we can say seven, eight, nine, 10. And we had three more that we counted on with our fingers and we could have said three. Or we could have even said seven, eight, nine, 10. I had one, two, three, five group cards. Okay, so there's lots of different ways you could solve that. All right, guys, go ahead and erase your boards. Get it ready for Miss Singleton because you're gonna need it. And we're gonna get ready for our video. All right. Be right back in a flash. All right, guys, I'm back in a flash. I told you that's quick. I'm like, I'm like the flash. All right, I'm going to share my screen so you can see Miss Singleton, and then we're going to get going. Get to here. And here we go. Maybe. Oh, I got to start it back. There we go. Make sure you have your board and marker ready to go. We don't have five group cards, so you won't use your five group cards. Hi, boys and girls. I'm Mrs. Singleton. Welcome to Module 1, Lesson 16. Today, we will be counting on to find the unknown part. These are the materials you'll need for today's lesson. Take a moment to collect them, and then we'll get started. Ready, set? You bet. We're going to use beans for activity. While I was collecting the beans, some of them dropped and I could not find them. I had a total of seven, but now I only have five beans. How many are missing? Let's try to count on to check how many I'm missing. Five, six, seven. How many did we count on to get to seven? Two, very good. So how many beans am I missing? Two beans. Hmm, now where are they? I found them, two were on the floor. Use your five group cards to make the number sentence on your personal whiteboard. Place the numeral side up. If you want to double check your number sentence, turn the cards to the dot side. Remember, try to turn over the fewest cards you can and count on. Now, if you need to pause to write out your number sentence, go ahead, but I want you to write it on your board too. So she wants you to write out the number sentence. We have five beans. 
two fell on the floor and we had seven total. If you need those number dots, please draw them out to help you. Five, six, seven, okay? Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see a little better. There we go. All right, let's see. Did you create five plus two equals seven? You did great work. This time, I'm going to put some of the beans in my mystery box. Ooh, we're gonna be mystery detectives. I still have four, so how many am I missing? Use your five group cards or track on your fingers to decide how many beans are in the mystery box. Okay, so I've got four beans in my hand, some are in my box, but I have seven all together. Think about your strategies and how you can use that. We can use our fingers to count on, we can put the big number in our head and count on, or we can make our dots to count on. So let's do our dots. I'm gonna do my dots. So four, five, six, seven. How many dots did I draw? One, two, three. So what's my mystery number? Let's count on four, five, six, seven. How many beans are missing? Three beans. Use your five group cards to make the number sentence we did. on your personal whiteboard. What is the number sentence you recorded? Four plus three equals seven. Four plus three equals seven. Great work. Circle the part that was the mystery or unknown. Three, very good. All right, here's another one. Some in my mystery box. And now I have five beans in my hand. How many are missing? Okay, so let's do this one. We have five beans in our hand. Some are missing. Now we have a total of eight beans. How many are missing? Think about your strategies. What can I do? This time I'm gonna count on with my fingers. I have five. I'm gonna count up to eight. Five, six, seven, eight. How many did I have? Let's count. One, two, three. I had three fingers. So let's see if we're right. What is the mystery or unknown part of this number sentence? Three. Whoop, whoop, whoop. We're right. You're doing an amazing job. This time I had five beans in my hand and I know I had six total. So what is the mystery or unknown part of this number sentence? Hmm, we had six total, but we only have five in our hand. How many are we missing? Okay, we, we can do five group dots, we can count on using our fingers, or we can count on in our heads. So this time, let's count on our heads. I'm gonna start with my total, or my, that I know, five, and I'm gonna count up to my pole. Ready, five in my head, five, Six. How many did I count up? Just one. Let's see if we're right. Yes, one. Try this one. All right, we have a total of six. We have four in our hands. How many alt or how many are missing? I want you to pick your strategy. You can use counting on with your brain, counting on with your fingers, or counting on with your dots. Choose your strategy and see if you can come up with four plus blank equals six. I have four beans in my hand. How many are in my mystery box? You got it, two. 
How about this one? Okay, try the next one. We have six total. Three are in our hand. Some are missing. What is our missing number? If we have three in our hand, what is the missing number to make six? Pick your strategy. Count on in your head, count on with your fingers, or make your dots. I have three in my hand. How many are in my mystery box? Three, four, five, six. Yes, three. So he had five plus one equals six. Four plus two equals six. And three plus three equals six. How about this time? What's in my mystery box? I have. All right, I have six beans in my hand. Some in my mystery box. And I've got a total of seven. How can I find that? Let's count on using our fingers. Six. So we have six, seven. How many did I count on? Just one more. Let's see if we're right. I have six beans in my hand. Yes. Great work. This time, I only have five beans in my hand. What is the mystery or unknown part of this number sentence? This time, I'm going to use my five group cards. I'm going to start with five, and I'm going to draw dots to make seven. Five, six, seven. How many dots did I draw? Two. Let's see if we're right. Yes, two. Let's try one more. I have four beans in my hand. How many do I have in my mystery box? Okay, if I've got four in my hand, I'm gonna put them in my head. We're gonna count up to seven. Here we go. Four, five, six, seven. How many did I count on? Three more. Let's see if we're right. What is the unknown or missing part of this number sentence? Did you say three? You got it. Share your thinking with someone or just think out loud. How do the parts change from one number sentence to the next? So let's look at this. If you'll see, we have six, five, four. What do you notice about that? Those numbers are counting down. So let's look at our next number. We have one, two, three. What about those numbers? What do you notice? They're counting up. So every time we lose a bean, we gain a bean on the other side. So it's something to watch for. It's kind of tricky. Let's see what she says. You may have said that each time only one bean was taken from the stack. So our second add-in in the number sentence went up one. What strategies did you use? We used our brain. We counted on with our fingers. We used our five group cards. Got lots like of strategies. Since you added one the first time, you knew to add two the next time because you noticed that the first add-in was one less. You did a really good job. This ends our lesson for today. Now it's time for you to work on your problem set. Your must-do problems are numbers one, two, three, five, A, B, and C. As always, great work. I'll see you soon, bye. Okay, let's look at our problem set together. I want you to know what you're supposed to be doing before you do it. So let's look at this. Yes, I know you're going to do number one and number two on your problem set, but I still want to go over it with you so you know what you're doing. 
So let's look at number one. Number one, if you notice, has three parts to it. Okay, it says draw more apples. Four plus blank equals six. So our tree has four apples already. Okay, get my chair out of the way here. Our apple tree already has four. We need to add some more to make six. So let's count on as we draw. So we have four, let's start with four. Four, five, six. How many apples did I draw? Two, I drew two apples. I added blank apples to the tree. How many apples did we add to the tree? One, two, we added two apples. That's all you're gonna do to the first problem. You're gonna draw your two apples, fill in your box, and fill in your blank. Make sure you do all three steps. Let's look at number two. How many more to make seven? Just like we did with Miss Singleton. Five, if I have five beans in my hand, some are in my mystery box to make a total of seven. How many are in my mystery box? If you need to draw it out, you've got room to draw it out. If you want to count on in your brain, count on in your brain. If you want to use your fingers, use your fingers. So let's count on. Five, six, seven. How many did I count on? Two. Okay. Let's go to the next page. Let's see what's asking you on the next page. Now remember, you got to do one, two, three, five, A, B, and C. If we can get it to work. We're not going to do this together. You're going to work on that on your own. But I want to show you this one. There's a lot going on right here, but there's not a whole lot for you to do. It says count on to add. So we're going to count on to add, find our mystery number. Circle the strategy you use to keep track. Now, did you count on with your fingers? Did you draw a picture or your dots? Or did you think in your brain five, six, seven? Okay, you're gonna circle one of those. So let's look at our problem. Four and some more equals five. So let's think, hmm, four, I'm gonna dot. I'm gonna do my five groups and dot. Four, five. How many did I draw? Just one. What strategy did I use? My dot cards. So I'm gonna circle that, okay? Same thing, four and some more equals seven. What is my mystery number? How did I solve to get it? Same thing with C and D, but D you don't have to do. So today you are gonna do numbers one, two, three, five, A, B, and C, and then you're going to do your exit ticket. So it's one, two, and three, and then five, A, B, and C, okay? And your exit ticket. Do all of that first, then come back to me, we'll do our debrief. All right, guys, so you should be done with your problem set, one, two, and three, and five, A, B, and C, and you should be done with your exit ticket, which you've turned back into me. Well, let's go back and talk about numbers one, two, and three real quick. What did you notice about your mystery number? Hmm, if you said that your mystery numbers stayed the same and were all two, then you are correct. So if we had all the mystery numbers the same, how are the answers different? Hmm. Well, let's think back to our lesson when we worked with Miss Singleton. And she showed us that every time we had a hole, or I mean a that went down, we went from six to five to four. Our other part went up one, two, and three. It went up by one more. So let's think of it this way. Instead, our one of our parts stayed the same. They all stayed two, but our other part changed. It went up by one more. So our answer went up by one more. Just like we did in our lesson today, it changed by one more or two more, depending on what our numbers were. So look for patterns when you are solving math problems to help you solve and become quicker thinkers during math. 
and I will see you guys for our next lesson, which will be lesson six, 17. And I won't be wearing my big orange on the next lesson, but I'll see you guys on the next lesson. Bye guys.